So the way I'm going to get this thrust test to actually work is I'm going to use a watt meter. And I'm also going to be using just a normal kitchen scale. And what I'm going to do is just place this on the kitchen scale, turn it on, and then it'll zero out. And then whatever thrust this produces, I can measure it. And I can also look at the watt meter, and I can look at the grams per watt. I'm going to do it once with the afterburner on and once with the afterburner off. And see how it would perform and the difference in thrust. Um, right now, my biggest problem is not having any sort of thrust tube. So I'm going to make that. And I'll probably have to do aluminum foil um, on the inside of paper, uh, like hard cardstock. Uh, just so it won't melt, but uh, I'll make that and get right back. So this is what I came up with. Again, it's nothing special. It's just aluminum foil on the inside of uh, a hard paper tube. And all it does is just go right on here. So it's on there. And then also the igniter. Uh, I just had to put heat shrink around it so it wouldn't touch the tin foil and short out. So that works. And then if you look down the middle of it, it's pretty well centered, not perfect. Again, I can just kind of reshape this, but it is good. Um, and I guess we'll go and test it now. This first test is without the afterburner and just the EDF alone. So this is the final data I got for the EDF without the afterburner. I took eight different data sets and then divided it to get grams per watt. And then I took the average of that to get 1.25 grams per watt. All right, now I'm gonna test it with the afterburner going. After reviewing the video, I took 7 data points because I didn't have enough for a full 8, and I calculated the total grams per watt, which is 1.38, which is significantly higher than 1.25, and that totaled to a 10.29% increase in thrust. I think that a 10% increase is a great number for this type of setup, and similar to what other people have managed to get. I still hope to eventually install this on a plane after further testing. Thanks for watching.